Well, speaking of questions, let's get back to them. We have a question from Tammy and Tammy's question concerns her husband. She said, my husband was in a head on collision and it was 100% the other driver's fault. We're going to settle with the insurance company and I need to know how much is fair. We're afraid that if they'll drop their offer, if we push too hard. And I know this happens a lot with people who are trying to get into a settlement state. So what should Tammy do? BJ? Oh, you want me to take that one? Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you know, getting into a settlement state is kind of a dangerous thing to do. What we always do when we have a client that has a significant case, we prepare the case from there, day one, like we're going to try the case. Because you're generally going to get more value for the case trying the case. And only by preparing a case for a trial throughout are you ever going to get the insurance company to make any sort of reasonable offer on the case. Until then, they're going to just lowball you. Um, so, with that in mind, you know if you got clear liability, that's great. That means you don't have to fight over who calls the accident. And then the question becomes, what's the value of the case? And that's the, the typically the, the, the ten thousand dollar question. And I think Carl typically says something along the lines of, if it's a a big injury, big value, little injury, little value is, is, is very correct. And it depends on what the injuries were, what the medical bills were, whether it missed time from work, whether they're long lasting injuries or whether they've resolved. There are a lot of factors that go into it. The circumstances of the accident was, was the person that crossed the center line just not paying attention or were they drinking or were they under the influence of something or were they tired? There's a lot of factors that go into the evaluation of the case to see if there's any aggravating circumstances and then the nature of the injury and how old the person is and how much it affected their life, all those goes into the value of the case. And of course, mm -hmm. you gotta have the insurance to pay for it. So if there's not a lot of insurance, it doesn't matter what the injuries are, there's not a lot of insurance. So all those mm -hmm. factor in. So if you got a whole lot of insurance and a very serious injury, it's a significant case. And more often than not, you wanna try that case or get close to trying that case before you resolve it, perhaps in mediation. Um, but okay. insurance mm -hmm. companies, they're. They're there to collect premiums and not pay anything. So dealing with an insurance company your own is just a horrible idea to start with. And so you should have a competent attorney who can answer all these questions for you and do everything he or she needs to do to maximize your recovery. That's supposed to be the goal, getting the client the best recovery possible for the client, not how much work it is for the lawyer. Okay. And that's important. Just from the question, though, Morgan, she's setting herself mm -hmm. up to be taken advantage of. If it was a head-on collision, you have to assume a serious injury. No case can be settled, nor can any value be placed on a settlement unless the person injured has achieved their maximum medical improvement. In a serious injury, that is going to take years, sometimes two, three, or four years. That's just the way it works. And if somebody is on their own without the aid of competent counsel for that long, they're going to have uh, medical bills, hospital bills, uh, people haranguing them for payment of those uh, bills. They're going to be without a car. Uh, there are all kinds of attendant problems in connection with that that, 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 that a lawyer can, can alleviate and handle and take it off of their shoulders. Then the, 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 the short version, too, is this. I don't care what the case is. If it's somebody who's got a serious injury, there's clear liability and there's good coverage in the case, they're going to get many, many, many more times net, net, net to them with a good, competent lawyer than they will ever in a million years get handling it by themselves. 